hi lovelies welcome back to my channel today is another tutorial on how to do the passion twist this time is on a silky hair texture my client is mist so i will be showing you guys how i was able to achieve um the passion twist hairstyle even though our hair was um very um silky and curly so i just finished washing our hair and i'm just blow drying it before i'm um, braiding it so stay tuned so as you can see she has um colored hair um so i will be using the only blonde color in color 30 to blend her hair so she has the dark roots on the blonde um tips so i will be using that color um so it looks as natural as possible So I just applied the product, um, the Shine and Jam Hair product to slick it down so I can get a perfect uh, parts. And I will be showing you guys two technique. Um, if you're able to grip um, silky hair, you can braid it. Um, you can still twist it like the regular um, twist. And if you're not um, able to grip um, silky hair, you can use the rubber band method as well. And at the end of the day, it's still the same. Um, you still get the same result. So, whichever technique you find that is easy for you to do, that's fine. So you're just gonna take one strands of hair. You're gonna pull it into two, and you're gonna run your fingers through it um, to loosen the coils. And you're just gonna place it on the hair. Right, so I doing the Senegalese uh, method, which is um, doing box braid, um, gripping, and then transitioning into the twist there. So if you have seen my passion twist um, tutorial before, I posted one the other day. So you should have seen me do this um, technique as well. So you're just going to do an inch of box braid and you're going to put uh, the hair into two equal part and you're going to start um, twisting it so as you're twisting you're making sure you're twisting on both sides of the twist so to secure um, the twist so it's not losing when you are done twisting So I saw a comment the other day of someone asking why on the passion twist I posted um, the person was asking why I did not tie a knot at the hands. The reason is because I make sure to braid it all the way to the bottom. So if you twist it all the way to the bottom, you do not need to um, tie a knot. Trust me, it's secured. It's not going anywhere. So I will be showing you guys the rubber bands uh, method 
um, for passion toys so it's basically um, the same thing with doing um, um, box braid or twist on short hair so you're just gonna take the little uh, piece of rubber band I use two pieces of rubber bands because it has more grip so you're just gonna turn it around make sure not too tight you're just gonna um, roll it around until you feel it's tight enough and secured um, in order for you not um, to worry about the rubber band breaking the hair or anything like that you can pour some oil on the rubber band or you can soak it in oil um, that way it's, um, it, it can be easily taken out and it's not melted into the hair So when you're done parting, you're just going to take a piece of the curly hair, you're going to slide your hook through the roots of the hair you part and you're just going to uh, pull out the one of the side of the curly hair and you're just going to twist it all the way um, to the end. Hopefully that makes sense. And I find this technique easier than the ones I've done before because you don't have to worry about gripping the hair due to her hair um, texture. So whichever one, like I said before, whichever one works best for you. So it all comes out looking um, the same thing.